Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Awesome Muscosh, otherwise known as MLB Power Bros Fan Club 2 here. And today, I'm coming at you guys with a pretty exciting video. I do have a Dragon Ball Legends uh, content coming at you guys. It is actually the Battle Royale event that I'm going through today. I'm here showing off the event squad that I have put into place. I actually changed out the leader slot there into Super Saiyan 4 Goku the legendary finish one instead of the new purple hell gt super 17 <laughs> god these names guys these names are getting pretty pretty wild it's actually pretty crazy how well we can remember dragon ball characters names and just like any anime character names we can remember those so well but like any other thing we just can't remember like i'll lose my glasses or I'll just I'll lose something so ridiculous but I can remember every Dragon Ball character's name so <clears throat> if you ever watched anybody else's videos regarding the battle royale you probably know that typically people get extremely easy matches in this game mode um, as you can see here my opponent he had he had a pretty decent amount of GG's he had some good good games he had a good amount of good games God, I'd say that a few times in a row. That'll get you. Um, also, the images off to the left and right hand side, that's literally just my room. That's the background of my room. So enjoy. I'm testing out. I was just messing with the green screen a little bit. Trying to figure that out a little bit more as well. So yeah, um, the first little bit here of the match, I actually forgot to turn on the volume for my game so that's why you're dealing with this it's actually coming up right here right now i'm like oh yeah let's go back to regular game mode <laughs> and i even you can see the sidebar for the volume I'm like oh, okay let's get this down a bit i forgot exactly what i was doing while i was recording this so like my live battle what i was doing i'm not exactly sure i think i was just like walking around my house doing some some like work around the house and things like that it's typically how i play legends um I know that might sound, I'm not trying to be cocky with it. Uh, I'm just saying like, typically I don't go all, I'm not like sitting down, like full tension into it typically. I probably should. I probably should sit down and give my full attention to it. But for this match in particular, I was not. I was just kind of messing around with, with the fella. Um, I definitely wanted to win. This is a, a is you, I don't know if you could tell, but if you want, you can rewind. Uh, this was my first time jumping into the Battle Royale and testing out the waters. I mean, it is it is GT characters, so let's be honest. Uh, it's super easy to form a team with GT right now. Um, in hindsight, every single player that I played against had the red Super Saiyan uh, Kid Goku. Good God, I cannot speak. The red Super Saiyan Kid Goku, the free-to-play one, typically every match I, I jumped into had that character. Um, I don't know if I regret not bringing him, but he seems like a character that is definitely very pliable and usable. Uh, here, I did not think that I would be able to get the LF off, and I definitely would not have been able to get the LF off, so I'm glad that I chose to the Rise and Rush. So we get a pretty easy dub the first one off here, which makes me pretty happy to see. I was very excited to actually be able to get a win for the first one out. I didn't want to skew any of the recording, so I definitely wanted my first jumping into it to be a win. So here we go for the second match. I just decided to go chronologically with this, just kind of show off each match as it goes. And so here we have a guy by the name of Bard. He's in the clan of Fairy Tale. He only has 34 good games, but he is even with me at 5,500 for the BRP. As you can see, like I said earlier, that uh, free to play red Kid Goku is definitely a, a character that a lot of people seem to really enjoy. I personally would probably, I personally, if I have a, I have a 14 star. Fully Zenkai 7, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. I think I'd rather have him as a red unit personally. I don't bring him in, but I don't I don't know. It's actually a tough one to say because this red Goku, 
You guys will be able to see. He actually puts in some fucking work on me, bro. See, watch the watch this uh, watch this red kid Goku. Maybe I didn't make the correct switches or or something like that. I probably didn't play his his hand right. But man, look at this combo. Look at that. You know, you know he could have extended that longer. He really thought he was gonna take me out with that with that blue, didn't he? Yeah, boy, get back. You ain't taking me out with no blue. You don't take me out with no blue card. I'm going to change out here and hit the green. Oh, no, I'm going to hit the main, actually. Uh, in hindsight, I don't know if that was the right move. Yeah, that was not the right move. I should not have hit the blue card. But we get the easy kill off of him. Ooh, I'm yawning. See, this is also another thing. That's very interesting to me personally is that when you rewatch these, you kind of see where you messed up. You kind of see, you can kind of gain more information. It's like watching a, uh, it's like watching film, like in sports. <laughs> I'm watching my, I'm watching film. So here's Hell 17 going crazy. And the thing about him is that he can actually heal insanely. I don't know if you could tell on my bench, but that, that 17 had gotten it had some damage done to him, and he already has healed up almost completely, even on the bench. So that's something you definitely have to look out for. If you if you battle this purple hell 17, do do yourself a favor and prioritize killing him. Because now that I switched out on him again, he's just gonna heal back up. He's actually an insanely good unit, but a paired against a yellow. Two, or, yeah, paired against a yellow unit, two blast cards did it for him. That was it. Oh, that's pretty nice to see. I don't, yeah, I don't know what he was doing there. I'm going to switch out because I don't want to deal with him anymore. I just want to go ahead and get the dub. And you know what? I think for good measure, I just rising rush this guy as well. Just to make sure I can get the, the clean dub. The minus 50 count that they um, imply into the Battle Royale really doesn't do much, does it? <laughs> I personally, I just don't know. I don't think that it does really anything per se. Let's just jump into the next match. Uh, here we go for the third match and will likely be the third and final match. Let's see if I can take home... Uh, three wins. Let's see if I can go three and zero. Oh. Um, another big, big, big announcement is uh, thank you very, very much, everybody, for one thousand subscribers. This is honestly one of the most exciting announcements I've ever been able to make. I know you might not be able to hear it in my voice, just because that I am kind of, I'm just kind of relaxing, laying down, and I'm planning on making like a special real video to show show off my excitement and love and passion but thank you so much guys for 1000 subscribers one of the biggest announcements i've ever been able to make on this channel um yeah thank you all very very much uh all i want to do with this channel really is just make videos that i love and hopefully videos that you enjoy um with that being said I will always continue to improve and do better by improving the channel as far as technology and microphone, sound quality, video quality, always aiming for the best and possible versions of those. Just always updating and uh, keeping myself on my tippy toes as well. Um, with the... With the... Oh, man, I got hit with the green card from good old tag team SSJ4s. But uh, with, the, with the world that we live in, it's just so constantly evolving. Brand new things are being introduced each and every day with all these different apps. So it's just trying to keep up and trying to keep going with everything. Uh, back to the gameplay, though. And enough of that. Enough of that sappiness. <laughs> Even though it's, it's good. I feel like you really should show your appreciation, especially when it comes to that. Uh, but yeah, back to the gameplay. Um, definitely putting in some major work with that SSJ4. Uh, green, uh, that's a little bit of an older unit too, but his blast cards, if you get him going, man, oh lord jeez, he is just nasty with it. He is so nasty with it. I mean, look how much this uh, ult does against a uh, pretty decent decked out SSJ4 Gogeta. 
Super Saiyan. Super Saiyan 4, Gogeta coming at me. I don't think so, buddy. Okay, maybe maybe you got me on that one. So at this point, I'm pretty I'm pretty in the hole. I'm I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, don't I need to make sure to make sure to do the right move. This would be very important. So this is gonna be good. I'm gonna need to play my cards absolutely correctly at this point. Oh, I didn't think I didn't know if that was, I didn't know if that killed or not. I'm so shocked that did. Makes me happy. So I got a really good green because that actually helps me prolong my life and the fact that he missed that, that actually was the game killer for him right there that was a game killer right there for him nah now what is he doing now at this point he's just sold the game i think he I, i'm wondering if he thought that i was going to oh man i should have tapped I wonder if he really thought that I was going to, uh... Huh. I was going to swipe. When he did that green. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Of course, this is definitely not a good buy. I'll just see you in the next video. I'll put up links to videos at the very end of this clip as well. Make sure to enjoy and leave me any and all feedback. Thank you, everyone. Uh, peace and love, and yeah. Thank you for a thousand subscribers. This is my show. I'm Mr. Producer. I'm wearing a mink coat.